Today we're going to talk about Unit 2, Section 1, and we're going to talk about the Mid-Atlantic colonies. Before we talked about the New England colonies, two of the northernmost English colonies, uh, Massachusetts and Rhode Island. Today we're going to talk about two of four of the English colonies, and that's New York and Pennsylvania. Here's a map to show you the two colonies that we're going to be talking about. And there's New York and Pennsylvania. And you can see where the Mid-Atlantic colonies are in relation to the New England and the Southern colonies. Where the New England colonies, depending on shipping and trade for their main economic activity, the Mid-Atlantic colonies are going to depend on having very fertile soil. They're going to be known as the breadbasket colonies. They're going to produce corn and other wheat type products. And their economy is going to be a cash crops, plural, economy. Meaning because they're physically in the middle between the New England and the southern colonies. And because of the fertile soil, they're going to become traders of goods between the New England and the south. And they're going to feed both sections of the colonies. Government of the Mid-Atlantic colonies, well in New England because the population was so densely populated they were, in, they were able to have town meetings often, local government meetings often. In the Mid-Atlantic colonies these colonies were mostly characterized by a proprietary form of government. And that is uh, these colonies were more started because of economics uh, William Penn, a, a businessman, uh, even though Roger Williams was banished from, uh, not Roger Williams, uh, in New York. New York was located on the Atlantic Ocean, and it was the center of the trade for uh, the Dutch. And then when the English took it over in 1664, it also became a center of trade. Religion in the Middle Atlantic colonies uh, differed from the New England colonies. In New England colonies, it was mostly Puritan and Pilgrim. In the Mid-Atlantic colonies, it was a diverse group of religions. Uh, Catholics, Presbyterians, Quakers, Jews. Um, it was also very diverse because of the uh, ethnicity. Germans, English, Irish, Scots, Dutch, all lived there. Originally, the area of the Mid-Atlantic colonies was founded by the Dutch. Uh, the capital city, of, when it was controlled by the Dutch, was known as New Amsterdam, named after their capital in the Netherlands. Here's a possible look at what the island, present-day island of Manhattan may have looked like back in early colonial days. Eventually, in 1664, this was taken over by the English, and the uh, English renamed it uh, New York. Pennsylvania was the second of the two colonies that we're going to talk about uh, in the Mid-Atlantic region. It was founded by William Pitt. Uh, the original reason why he founded Pennsylvania was as a, re a religious haven, safe place for Quakers. If you've ever eaten uh, oatmeal, then you've probably purchased uh, Quaker Oats. And that's where the name uh, originates from, was the Quakers. The Quakers were persecuted in England, much like the Puritans and the Pilgrims, and they were persecuted for their strict religious beliefs. Uh, among this, among these things were they were pacifists. They did not believe in fighting in war. They, as the picture here shows, they believed in segregated uh, congregations for men and women. Women would sit on one side, men would sit on the other side, and they did not believe in having ministers, uh, preachers. They also, compared to the other colonies, except for maybe Rhode Island, had excellent relations with Native Americans. This concludes Unit 2, Section 1, Mid-Atlantic Colonies.